Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I love this time of year. We're leading up to Valentine's Day. I've just always loved Valentine's Day and with Valentine's Day comes gift giving, a lot of fun makeup launches, and so I just like love this time of year. Today, I thought that I would do a gift giving guide for Valentine's Day that you can give to your significant other or your friends. I put together some of my favorite makeup and some that I think would be some pretty good gifts to give because I know that sometimes it's hard to find gifts to give to other people. And so these are some of my favorite products that I've been using. I have a good mix of drugstore and high-end. I'm just gonna do a full face today using all the products that I mentioned. Okay, so right now I'm gonna talk about primers. And I have two different types of primers, one high-end and one from the drugstore. The first primer that I'm going to mention is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I got this at Sephora and I love this product. It is a little bit pricier, but I think that it's just really nice to just smooth your face out. It's literally just like this, so you just spritz yourself. And what I like about this is that you can use it all day. So you can spritz this before you put your makeup on, and then you can spritz it over your face throughout the day to give your makeup a little bit of a refresh. Why I really like this, I feel like it just feels like really nice on my face. I feel like it preps my face to have a really nice canvas to put my makeup on. And I am obsessed with how this smells. It smells so good. And a little goes a long way. I've had this bottle for seriously so long and I've only used this much of it. So I love it. So I'm just gonna spritz this on my face. Your face is just like all nice and wet and it's just like really refreshing, especially in the morning. After I spritz my face with the primer water, I go in with a cream primer and I have been really enjoying this CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Primer right here. What I love about this is that it's super affordable, it feels really nice on my skin. I think that it really makes my skin look soft. It comes with like several different primers depending on what your skin is like and what you're looking for. I have the color neutralizing one so it's green it kind of helps combat redness but they have several different ones depending on what you're looking for and again like a little goes a long way i've had this for several months and i'm still using it so it's really nice it's like a little squeeze with like a nice top dot it on your hand and that will be enough for your whole face and i just like to just smooth it right on in so now that i've primed my face and made it all nice i'm going to prime my eyelids. For those of you who have been watching my channel, I always, always, always do eyeshadow first. Just in case there's any fallout, I don't want to mess up my foundation. I have mentioned this product several times on my channel. It is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I think that it is such a good formula and it really helps keep my eyeshadow on all day. And so if you have an eyeshadow lover in your life, they would love having a primer and what's nice is there's several primers out there there's some at the drugstore there's urban decay there's so many different primers i know some people who do like concealer to use as an eyeshadow primer i have found that eyeshadow primer works a little bit better for me but concealer is also another option to try and so i just dab it like on Okay, and for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Morphe with Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss from her Vault collection. And what I love about Morphe is Morphe has some really good eyeshadows and it's really inexpensive. You can buy each of these eyeshadow palettes for $15 or if you're looking to have the whole vault or get like a little bit of like... A bigger gift, you can buy the whole vault, which comes with all four of her little eyeshadow palettes. And this palette just looks like so perfect for Valentine's Day. You have your pinks, your purples, you have some shimmers, some mattes. I think that this is such a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I've actually enjoyed all of her vault eyeshadow palettes so far. And so I think Morphe is just such a good gift. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk brushes. This is more like of a crease brush and this is more of like a lid brush. I only ever really use two brushes for my eyeshadow, but if you're looking to get brushes or to give brushes, I have this little Sonia Kashuk 
Essentials Collection Starter Brush Set. And if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of brushes, I think that this is so nice. And so it comes with, that's like a foundation brush, a contour brush, it comes with both of these eyeshadow brushes, and it comes with an eyeliner brush if you're somebody who likes to use that eyeliner out of a pot. I got this from Target. Sonia Kashuk also has a lot of little brush kits at Target which are worth looking into because I think brushes would make a really nice gift. All right, so using the Morphe palette, I want to create a nice little Valentine's Day themed look. So I'm going to take the Sparks, the shade right here, Sparks, and put that in my crease. It's a really nice burgundy color. What I also love about the vault is that it has really nice color payoff. I'm going to take Rockstar right here and blend it in with the crease as well. So now that that's all blended together, I am going to put Hush Hush down on my lid, which is like just this really neutral pink color. And now that that has made like a little bit like of a pink lay down, I'm going to go in with this Bling Boss right here, which is a really pretty rose gold shimmer just right on top. So now it's just created this really nice pink like Valentine's Day look. So probably one of the best gifts that I have ever been given is a beauty blender. I literally use this beauty blender like every single day. It's just a really nice makeup sponge that you can apply your foundation, you can apply setting powder if you want, and this is one of the best spon makeup sponges that I've ever used. It is a little bit on the pricier side. This is $20, but seriously, it's something that I use every day. And if you take good care of it, you'll be able to keep it for quite a while. Beauty Blenders make such a good gift for any of your makeup loving friends. It is such a game changer for applying makeup. It's really like cool how it works. You actually get the sponge wet and then it expands and it just like flawlessly puts on your makeup. So I'm actually gonna go get it wet right now and it will grow in size and then I'm gonna apply on my foundation. Okay, so my beauty blender is all wet now. My all time, all time favorite foundation is this Estee Lauder Double Wear. I think that it makes my skin look so smooth. It lasts for hours. It is just such a good foundation, especially me who has a lot of like acne and pretty textured skin. I'm looking for a super full coverage foundation. And so Double Wear is seriously such a nice foundation if you're looking to get a higher end foundation that just lasts. My favorite drugstore foundation at the moment is this Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. And as you can see, I am seriously like almost out of it because I use it all the time. I love this. It's, it says it's a two-in-one. It's a foundation and concealer, so it's a really thick product. It goes on matte, which I have really oily skin, so I'm always looking for mattes. And it is a really thick formula, so if you're looking for a really full, full coverage foundation, this Milani Conceal and Perfect is also a really good option, and they sell it at Target, and I believe Walmart might have gotten Milani now. Seriously, such a good foundation. And what I love about Milani is that it comes with a pump. My only complaint with the Double Wear is that it doesn't come with a pump, and I love pumps when it comes to foundation. So my foundation is on, so I'm gonna take my Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is a really, really good drugstore setting powder. It comes in a lot of different shades, and I think it just does a really, really nice job. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. complexion brush and just dip in and just kind of get all around. So now that I have powdered my face, I'm going to go in with bronzer. I am going to be using this Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. It is so good and it smells just like coconuts. And this is just such a nice bronzer. You can get it at Target and Ulta. The formula is so soft, but it is just such a nice little bronzer. Okay, so now that my bronzer is on, I'm going to be using this Palladio Matte Blush in shade Poise. I get Palladio at Sally's. And what I love about this blush is just it's a really nice rosy blush and it will go perfect with my eyeshadow look that I've done today. Okay, and I 
will then go on to my highlight. You guys, seriously, Kylie Cosmetics makes my favorite highlight. So good. You can put a little or a lot on and it's really pretty blinding. I have salted caramel and I just seriously like love it. And she just came out with some new ones that I want to try because I seriously am in love with her highlighters. So just like a little goes like a long way and it just gives you this really nice wet highlight look. Kylie Cosmetics is also coming out with a Valentine's Day collection. Her Valentine's Day collections usually always kill it. So next I'm going to do my brows. I'm one who likes a pomade versus a brow pencil, so I don't know too much about brow pencils. But for pomades, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow. This is honestly one of the best products I have ever used for my eyebrows. And it is in the shade Dark Brown, but it comes with so many different shades. That's what I love about Anastasia is that it comes with so many shades for your eyebrows that you'll really be able to match the exact color that you want. So I just take this brush from e.l.f. It's an eyebrow brush and it has like a little spoolie right here, angled brush head right there, so that you're able to really complete a really nice brow. I'm going to move on to finishing my eyes. So I use a liquid eyeliner and my favorite is this Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. It is so, so good. I actually did a video review on this, like a first impressions, and the thing about first impressions is sometimes I'll like use the product later and then realize that I didn't like it as much as I originally thought, but this is one of those products that I still just like love and I will probably just keep replacing and keep using because I literally love it. It's her fly liner. It has like a brush tip like this. I have seen some people don't love it. It is like a really soft tip so it can like kind of move and bend a little bit, but I seriously love it and it has lasted the longest time for me. I just always think that eyeliner really adds to a look, especially like eyeshadow. And I just love the Fenty Beauty one. I think that it goes on really smoothly and it is so long lasting. To finish it off with mascara, I'm going to be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And this is a dupe to the Better Than Sex mascara. And I have actually used both of them and I can honestly say that I cannot tell a difference. I think that they both look identical and this one is only ten dollars for pretty much the exact same product i would definitely go with the voluminous slash paradise l'oreal has my favorite drugstore mascara of all time and i love the brush head of this it's just so nice and it gives you such nice volume okay and to finish off this whole look i'm gonna be using the jeffree star velour liquid lipstick in shade clout it's this really pretty purple that will be so much fun for Valentine's Day. I think that this is a universal color and it's fun. It gives you a nice pop of color without being so like in your face. And this is from his winter 2018 collection. And I was obsessed with all the shades in those because they all are all just like so pretty. So I just want to make sure that you shake it up really nicely. I'm just going to pop that on my lips. And it just gives this nice little like halo effect. So it's more of a metallic lipstick. What I like about it is it's a little bit more bolder, but it's not so bold that it's unwearable. And to finish it off, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. It's seriously the best. I have noticed the biggest difference when I use it. My makeup lasts so much longer and it just really locks everything in. All right guys, that is my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave a comment down below your thoughts if you have any suggestions on future videos or just anything that you would like to see in the future. But thank you guys so much for your support and for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I have a lot of exciting videos in the future. And I hope you all have such a good Valentine's Day. I will see you all in my next video.